Hi, I'm Steve, and this is a quick guitar lesson on how to do palm muting. I'm using a tone that I built for the Fender Mustang GTX and GT amplifier series called Metal by Steve Guitar. You can get it for free here in the description notes here on this video. Also check it out on Fender's website and on the community or the download area of their app. I've got a bunch of other tones on clean and crunch and surf and acoustic and bass simulator and all sorts of good stuff there. Check it out. Hit subscribe below for more guitar lessons like this, along with more tones, tips, gear reviews, and more. All right, let's hop into it. All right, so palm muting is a technique typically used in heavy metal and hard rock uh, uh, songs really jamming and rocking away, but also it can be used in blues and any really any genre you want to, especially when you get into notes and it creates a bit of articulation and emotion to a song. Uh, what I'm playing today is a bit more of a metal version, again, uh, with my metal tone for the uh, Fender Mustang amps. Uh, let me play an A chord, and I've got another video on how to do bar chords or power chords, so that's really what I'm using mostly here today. But if I play an A chord, you can see it just rings out. I hit it once with my right, hit it once with my right hand, and just sort of let it go. Well, if I were to take my palm and put it right over those strings right there, my right palm, and I'm going to bring it just over this. It's called the bridge. I'm going to bring my palm, sort of set it on the bridge, but then I'm going to actually move it on top of the strings and set it down lightly. I get this effect. You can tell right there, it just sort of dies instantly. Why? Because my, my palm uh, is covering all the strings. It stops the vibration and the strings just naturally die out pretty quickly. Well, um, Depending on the type of music you're playing, it may not be a great thing. Uh, on another hand, it could be awesome. So for example, if you blend the two, if I hit a chord and then put my palm right here, keep picking away, you get a little rhythm, it sounds cool. So uh, there's not much to it, it's pretty simple. Uh, but the key is you don't want to push too hard uh, because it could kill off almost all the notes. Um, you can experiment and find out what works for you. You also don't want, it, don't want to do it too light because if you do it too light, certain strings will just keep coming through and then it defeats the purpose. So you can, you can do different parts. Uh, there's no rules, this is rock and roll. So um, another thought here too is that a lot of players, depending on the type of guitar they have and the type of bridge, the bridge can sort of wear into their hands and even potentially cut them. Um, I have some screws here um, that aren't that tall or that sharp. So I typically just rest it on there and bring it in. I sort of roll it in or you can slide it in. You can technically do it sort of anywhere, but you're not gonna get the real uh, magnetic pickup there of the, of the pickups on electric guitar. So typically most people just bring it in on the bridge. They don't press down too hard or too light. Um, one thing on the left hand is part of, um, has nothing to do with palm muting technically, but letting up a little bit with your um, finger as well is another way of killing the strings. So sometimes the right and left hands work together right there. You're sort of like pressing and lifting, pressing and lifting together like that. So I'm going to play a couple chords open. Now let's do them palm muted. Now, uh, if I use a bit of um, a bit more of a rhythm right there, and I start to slide around, I'm going to blend the two seamlessly like this. Ready? I'm sort of dramatically lifting my hand to show you, though. So. I'm actually just throwing my hand <laughs> flat up on the uh, on the pickups. I mean, the, again, depending on, on how you want to play, it can be a little bit wild. Uh, I could go slower and bring them in, but... So there you go. I'm blending uh, wide open chords with palm muted chords, and you create that nice rhythm. Uh, let's try it out on a little bit of, um, you know, sort of soloing work. Um, so that's open. I'm going to do a palm mute now. Okay, like
like that. I also lifted it off to sort of do that last pull off. Um, I'm gonna blend the two together, some open and some non-open. Pretty cool. So that's palm muting, a really quick look. I hope it was helpful. Hit subscribe below for more guitar lessons like this. Tones, tips, gear reviews, and more. Thanks for watching. See ya.